All right guys, welcome to Generally Outdoors. So today I'm giving you guys a quick review of my backpacking uh, cook kit setup system, whatever you want to call it. So right off the top, my pot is an Evernew Titanium 900 mil pot. I am at peace with it. Uh, to tell you the truth, I do have a couple gripes about it and if I was to be in the market for one again, I probably would not go with this one. But it's definitely working for my purposes. There's just a couple little gripes that I have with it. First off, the lid doesn't stay on it super well. Um, normally when you're boiling water with it, it'll have a tendency to you know, do that. <laughs> Which is why, as you saw, I had to keep a rubber band around it. But other than that, uh, you know, the little silicone on the handle is nice because you're able to get the lid on and off when it's hot pretty easily. The, my one gripe as well with the handle is also that it does not have this little silicone tubing around it. So the handle does get really hot, which as you'll see in a minute, inside of this I have a bandana, which not only do I use to dry out the pot to avoid getting a rust ring from my fuel canister, but I also use it to hold it. So it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, moving forward, obviously, as you guys can see, it's a big pot, 900 mil, so there's plenty of room to hold the standard small uh, 3.89 ounce canister in here, as well as my other items. The one cool thing too is, you know, obviously this is a two person's pot. I got one this size because I'm often going on trips with other people who may or may not have gear. So it's nice to have a bigger pot to be able to cook for everybody. Or if you got to boil water or something, it's nice to have that too. And it'll hold the big old eight ounce can. The lid will still fit on, no problem, but I couldn't probably fit my other goodies in there. So my other goodies are the bandana, like I talked about, which has tons of other uses too. Obviously it can be an emergency bandage. You can use it to pre-filter your water, so on and so forth. Uh, this is my stove. Uh, most people who are familiar with backpacking gear have probably heard of this stove. It's the BRS 3000, and I, I love it. Really small, really lightweight. It boils my water. That's primarily what I do. It doesn't really simmer that well. You do have to carry a lighter to get it going, but that's no problem for me, and especially for the price I'm pretty sure I didn't even pay 20 bucks for this, which is a steal as far as not only ultralight backpacking gear, but just lightweight backpacking gear uh, in total. So that is the cooking aspect of my cook kit. So I'll put all that back in there for right now, set it off to the side. This is my meal pouch. So I do a lot of freezer bag cooking. So whether I have a store-bought freeze-dried meal like a mountain house or something like that uh, a lot of times too I'll take instant mashed potatoes or ramen noodles or, or even dehydrating my own meals put them in a freezer bag and then you just put them in here you add your boiling water into the bag mix it up zip up the bag seal it prop it up for 10 minutes and then your food stays nice and hot you can eat it right out of this so you don't burn your hand as long as you have a, a long utensil. And um, yeah, I, I love it, it's, it's great. These are really basic to make. All you gotta do is get a piece of Reflectix from the hardware store, and literally you just cut a big strip, fold it, you know, lay out a bag of food to figure out how big it needs to be, fold it, tape it up, couple tabs of Velcro, you're done. So I highly recommend making one of these if you're interested in freezer bag cooking, because not only is it simple and you don't have to worry about burning your hand to keep your food warm, but more importantly, there's no cleanup. All you have to do is clean your spoon and you're done. You don't have to clean out the pot at all and you're good to go. So also on the other note too, this is my new eating utensil. As you can see, this one is polished and this one is not. It's kind of like a bead blasted type uh, texture on it, which one of the reasons why I went with this one is because the polish is easier to get clean and it just feels more natural. This one too, the corners aren't as squared as this one is, so it feels more natural in your mouth. And who knows, maybe the spork feature will come in handy sometime. So yeah, 
Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's toss this guy on the scale and see how much it weighs. I'm going to pull my gas canister out because most people wouldn't count the gas canister plus it's half full. So let's get the rubber band on there too. Got to make sure we got every gram possible on there. All right, let's fire up the scale. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. It's zeroed out, so we're going to do the pot first. So the pot with all its contents comes out to five and a half ounces, and then when you throw this on, that brings us up to a whopping 7.3 ounces. So 7.3 ounces for your whole cook kit I think is pretty good. I'm happy with that, and like I said, it fits my needs well, and I would recommend it. So, except the pot. <laughs> um, but, you know, just something to give you guys an idea of where to start. Uh, this pot was pretty expensive, and you're usually going to pay more for titanium pots. But I'm going to do a comparison of my other cook pots and talk about some other options. Don't feel like you need to spend the money on something like this. But if you have it uh, and you're going to get one, I recommend getting one with bigger handles that have some kind of protection on them. So, anyways, I hope you guys found this video to be useful and informational and thanks for watching.